Hello, hello, hello. I am the Linux Mensch. Today I'm going to talk about the Arch Linux mirrors. Now, in my last video, which was a full installation of Arch Linux, the manual way, I really went through fast when I was installing the mirrors and I didn't explain it. But I have explained it in older videos, but I'm going to explain it again today. And in the video before that, and now I've been joined by my helper. This is Hope. And in the video before that, I did an Arch installation using their automated installer. Now, the automated installer is a name that I made up. It's actually called Arch Install. And I made up the name automated installer just to differentiate between when I'm doing a manual install and using their automated installer. But anyways, two videos ago when I did the Arch install using the automated installer. I just went through the installer and selected all the mirrors from Canada. So what I'm going to show you today can be used for your installation that's already completed or it can be used when you're doing a manual install and you can even use it when you're using the Arch automated installer. You can drop down into the TTY first, select the mirrors and then go into the automated install. So, let's get to it. And now we're in the Qtile window manager. Now the Qtile window manager, there's no mouse. The mouse doesn't do anything. Well, you can use the mouse to uh, switch workspaces out of these nine workspaces, but that's about it. And of course the mouse works in your apps. It will work in Firefox and any other apps that you're using. And I'm going to do mod key or the windows key H. And that brings up HTOP. And now we're running at 241 megabytes of RAM. Now to close it, I'm going to do Shift, Mod key or the Windows key, and the C for close. And it closes it. And now I'm going to do Mod key or the Windows key, and I'm going to hit, hold it down and hit the Enter button. And I'm going to make that a little larger. And now if you're using my... And before I do that, let's go to another workspace. So I'm going to hold the mod key or the Windows key down and I'm going to hit 5. Let's go to the fifth workspace. So I'm holding the mod key and I'm going to hit the 5. Not the F5, but the 5. There we are. And not the side keyboard. I'm not using my side numbers. I'm using my numbers on the top row. So now we're on workspace 5. I'm going to hold down the mod key or the Windows key and hit F. And that's going to open up Firefox. And let's click that on and let's go to Arch Linux. And then I'm going to go to the wiki. So I'm going to click on the wiki and I'm going to type in mirrors. And I'm going to click this on. And now we're going to the mirror page. And I'm going to click on mirror status, successfully syncing mirrors. Then I'm going to click on country. So see we're at successfully syncing mirrors. I'm going to click on country. And now let's put it in alphabetical order. And I'm going to click it on again. Because it's going to bring the United States mirrors to the top. Now before I even go there. I should explain something. There is an app that you can download. From the official Arch repository. Called Reflector. And if you install it. You can use it to automatically quickly and easily and automatically bring up the best mirrors from where you live and you can even configure it. Now I used it for five minutes maybe a year or two ago and I didn't like it and I didn't like the mirrors that it was bringing up and I didn't think it was bringing up the best mirrors. Now a lot of people that use Arch Linux love Reflector and they think that you should install it and use it. And you can if you want to. And I can't really teach you how to use it because I only used it for five minutes, maybe 10 minutes. <laughs> and that was like a year or two ago, probably two years ago. And I prefer not to use it. I prefer to do it this way. Now, the way that I manage my mirrors, it's the harder way. But why do things the easy way when you can do them the hard way? And now my helper is back. This is Hopi. Uh, Hope, her name's Hope, and she's, she just came back because she thinks I need help. She's my assistant. 
But like I was saying, why do things the easy way when you can do them the hard way? And also, the reason why I do it this way is I like to be in control. And I like to have control over what mirrors I'm downloading and upgrading from rather than this reflector app that just does it automatically. So anyways, that's a long story. So once I'm at successfully syncing mirrors, so number one, even though I'm in Canada, I normally use mirrors from the United States because I think they work faster. And number two, uh, I always look for here in completion percent, I don't use mirrors that are not 100% complete. So if you look at this, these mirrors here, this one's here is 100%. So I don't want to use a 98% mirror. I'm going to use a 100% mirror. Now the next thing is, is this mirror is HTTP. I don't use those mirrors. I only use a mirror that is HTTPS and the S stands for secure. Now the mirrors with the S are a little bit slower than the ones without the S and that's because they're encrypted. So I'm looking for a mirror that's 100% I'm looking for a mirror that, let's just go down a bit. So I'm looking for a mirror that's a uh, hundred percent, a mirror that has an S and I'm looking for this score here. So I'm looking for a mirror score that's low. The lower the score is, the better. So like, look at this mirror, it's 17.6. That's a bad mirror, but this mirror is point zero point five or 0 0.6. So I'm looking for something with the lowest score from the United States with the lowest score that is 100% in sync and that has an S rather than the ones without the S. So let's scan down. So many times I'll use this uh, hacking in coffee. It has an S, it has a low score, 0 0.6, but it's only 99% in sync. I'll probably be okay to use it, but I feel better using 100%. And the same with this America package build. This America package build has an S, it has a low score, but it's only 99%. So let's go down. Now this LTY mirror, LT me, I've used this before. It has an S, it's 100%, but the score is a little bit high, but I'm gonna use it. And I'm gonna use this RIT education one too. Uh, mirrors, RIT education, it has an S, it's 100%, and it's 0 0.9. So I'm going to use RIT Education and LTY. They're both 100% and they're both at 0 0.9 and they both have S's. Okay, so that's how I select my mirrors. Now I'm going to go back to Workspace 1. Now you can use your mouse to go there in this Q tile or you can use the Mod key or the Windows key and hit 1. Hi, ah, there I go. Now I got my face back. Look at that. Don't we look good? <laughs> Anyways, which one do you think looks better? Her or me? Don't say it. So anyways, I'm in a terminal. Now, if you're using my Zesh configuration file, you can type in this command, get mirrors. Okay. And what that is going to do, it's going to download a new list of mirrors from the whole world. And if I hit enter, let's try it. Oh, it's going to ask for my password. I'm going to put my password in. And there we go. It just downloaded a new mirror list from the whole world. Now, if you don't have my Zetch configuration file, let's clear the screen. Then you're going to have to do this. Type in sudo curl dash o, and that's an o, not a zero. Etsy, Ackman, D. Mirror list, leave a space, HTTPS, colon slash slash, arch Linux dot org, slash, mirror list, slash, all slash. You're going to have to do that. Now let's see if it works. And there it goes. We just downloaded the mirror list again. Now let's, um, what I'm going to do is clear the screen. I'm going to make this a little smaller. And there we go. That's the line there. And like I said, if you're using my Zest configuration file, 
all you got to do is type in get mirrors hit enter and it will ask you for your password this time it didn't because i just recently put my password in if you have my zesh configuration file installed you can just type in change mirrors hit enter and we're in the file and that's a bit big let's make that smaller and we're in the mirror list let's quit out of there so if, like I said, if you're using my Zesh configuration file, just type in change mirrors. If you're not using my Zesh configuration file, then you're going to have to do sudo vim etsy hackman d mirror list and then hit enter. Oops, and I did that wrong. And you know why I spelled mirror list wrong. Mirror list has two R's. Let's try it that way. And there we are. We're in the list. Now, like I said, that's the command there. But like I said, if you're using my Zesh configuration file, just type in change mirrors. Hit enter. And we're there. Now, in Vim, if I hold the shift button down and hit the G, then take me to the bottom. So we have 992 mirrors. Not exactly because my numbers are counting the empty spaces. So you can see up here, number eight, that's an empty line, but it's still counted as a line. So it's not 992, but let's say there's 900 mirrors here from all over the world. Now, the other thing is all these mirrors are deactivated because they're that color, well, not so much the color, but because they have the number sign in front of them or the hashtag, they're all deactivated. So if you download this list, you're going to have to do something with it because if you just download it and don't do anything with it, you won't be able to update your system and you won't be able to download any apps or packages because all the mirrors are deactivated and this wiped out the old mirror list. So you're going to have to do something with it. You're going to have to select some mirrors and deactivate them. So now, Let's just go back up to the top. So going up to the top is you hit your G twice. Now we're at the top. Okay. So I'm going to hit the slash button and do a search for LTY. And it brought me right to the mirror. And these are right here. We're in the paragraph, this huge paragraph. This, these are all the American mirrors from the United States. So we're at the LTY. Now I notice... Oops, let's go back there. Hit enter. Notice there's two LTY mirrors. I'm going to pick the one with the S, right? See, that's the one with the S. And I'm going to go to the top. Now, of course, you shouldn't be doing this unless you know how to use a text editor. And actually, when you're in a TTY doing your installation, you should be using a Nano or Vim or NeoVim, or some other type of text editor that functions in the TTY. But we're already in our installation. This is a fully installed installation. So theoretically, you could use a GUI text editor, or you could even use LibreOffice Word document, right? But I like to do it in the terminal. So what I'm going to do is paste it in. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make some space. Oops. So I'm going to delete the uh, number sign to activate that mirror. Now I'm going to go down to do a search for at RT. And there it is there. That's the mirror. And again, Notice there's two. There's the HTTP and the HTTPS. So I'm going to pick the HTTPS. I'm going to delete it. You could yank it, but I'm going to delete it. I'm going to go to the top. And I'm going to paste it in. And I'm going to uncomment it. Now, normally in my system, I have anywhere from three. Usually I have five, four to five mirrors at top here that are deactivated. That I can use. But I don't want this video to be too long because it's already getting long. So I'm just going to put two mirrors there. And I'm going to save the file. 
So now we've activated two mirrors. And once you activate the mirrors, let's just clear the screen. Once you activate the mirrors, we have to sync our mirrors. So we're going to do sudo pacman syy. Hit enter. I'm going to put my password in. And it's syncing the mirrors. And now the mirrors are sunk, synced. And now we're ready to do an update or to download some apps. So let's do an update. Let's clear the screen. Now you can clear the screen by doing this, typing in clear. Or you can hold down the control button and hit the L. And that clears the screen. Now what I'm going to do is um, let's try an update. And that's here's another thing. If you are using my Zesh configuration file, you can update the system like this. Just type in update. And there's nothing to update because I updated the system just before I turned the camera on to make this video. Now you can clear the screen by control L and that clears the screen. Now if you're not using my Zesh configuration file, you're going to do sudo pacman syu. And that updates the system. And of course there's nothing to update. But like I said, you can just do, if you're using my Zesh configuration file, just type in update like that. And it's going to update the system. There you go. Anyways, there's nothing to do. So, how do I maintain the mirrors? Sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes I'll go to that Arch Linux website and see which mirrors are totally in sync and that have the lowest no score number. And then I'll go in and change the mirrors. And sometimes when I do an update, if something goes wrong and it doesn't work, and it happens once uh, a couple times a year, a couple times a year I'll go to do an update and it's saying it can't reach the mirror. Then I go onto that Arch Linux website and I look, I go, oh, there's a problem with that mirror. So then I'll, I'll look for a mirror on the website that has a good score and that has the S in front of it for like HTTPS and it has a good score and it's 100% in sync and then I'll go and change the mirrors. And that's it. So today I showed you how I like to maintain and manage my mirrors the hard way, the manual way. And there is a way where you can do it with Reflector. You can download that app from the Arch Linux official repository and use it. I used it once a long time ago and I didn't like it. I prefer to do it the manual way. That way I'm in control. I know what I'm doing and I'm in control. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. Until next time, I am the Lennox Mensch.